Cali Cab in Mexico where our journey to Korea begins. We have come to Zipolite, which is about, I don't know, half an hour to 40 minutes from where we've been staying at La Boquilla because that's where we can get the closest PCR test, which we are getting in that trailer over there. I'm Steph. And I'm Pete. And that's our two-year-old son, Hayes. We were selected by Airbnb to travel the world for a year, calling a new destination home for a month at a time. Follow along. How are you not gonna make me cry? Okay. Yeah. We've got a lot of these, but that, that was a serious one. By the way, here is where we've been staying. Back to our journey to Korea. So our PCR test came back negative, but because we have a layover in the US, we also need a test within 24 hours, and because we weren't sure how long it would take to get a PCR, we're having to do both, so we did our PCR yesterday. We're doing antigen tests today. Also, Hayes needs a test for the US, but not for Korea. So anyway, round two of COVID tests coming up soon in the Mexico City airport before we fly out tomorrow morning. We can go to Korea. No. Hey. Where's my big moment? Oh, thank you. Dallas, then we connect and go straight to Seoul. Stay tuned. Spirits are high, considering the uh, 3.45 a.m. wake up. Next up, Dallas. Fill in the vents, text me back, throw me in the sky. Dallas and American Airlines, you know, it's a flush in one roll. Hayes has a lot of energy for somebody that woke up at 4 a.m. Uh, but we've got a, a little bit of a lengthy walk, so it's good. I think he, he can burn some of that and hopefully sleep on the next flight. Hayes, come this way. Okay, the update is our flight was delayed two hours, but we did get seats together. We found a lounge that was terrible and had no room, which is fine, but then we also didn't pack enough diapers. We've only been traveling full time for eight months and anyway, still didn't pack enough diapers. So we went to look for some and we noticed that there was a brand new Capital One lounge, which we have that card because we wanted the 100,000 points sign up bonus. And it was the most beautiful lounge that I've been to in the States. And on par with everywhere else, it had like art everywhere, it had a massage room, it had like craft cocktails. Um, there was a three and a half year old that Hayes had a big time playing with and now we're gonna go catch our flight. He is so tired so fingers crossed he pulls another one of um, I don't even remember where we were going but once he fell to London Johannesburg to London 10 no eight hours so he slept eight hours and he fell asleep before takeoff so so now 
can he beat it with a big 14 hour sleep? <laughs> 14 hours, that would, be, that would be amazing. So anyway, see you in Seoul. Plus maybe like a montage of some plain stuff, but probably not because I'll like pack this away and forget to pull it out. Best banana milk of the trip. And it's for me, not for his. I'm gonna share it with you. All right, we just had our third COVID test in less than 72 hours. Well done. Um, we're just gonna go get a taxi and then we'll do a little debrief. But we're in Seoul and so far, we love it. We haven't left the airport, but we love it so much. Okay, I'm obsessed with these crosswalks already because they're red right now. But when it's time to go, they turn green. Go! Look, it turned green! Steph, where in Seoul? 회계로 16일 25. Yep, 1, 0, All right, so we're in the taxi. It's 7.20. We're about... I guess an hour away from where we're going. We had an amazing flight because Hayes slept 10 of the 14 hours in two different chunks. So that was incredible. What else has happened? That's about it. We got SIM cards. We got SIM cards, we got PCR tests. Uh, I haven't left the airport, but first impression so far is that this is a very well-designed, efficient, friendly place. Um, leaving the airport could not have been easier or more welcoming and efficient. And yeah, first impressions are very good. Oh, I'm a bit tired. Oh, now there's better light and I have no battery. Goodbye! Oh. You made it. Daisy, are you bossing daddy around or are you helping? Welcome to our home, Daisy. Good morning from Seoul. It's our first morning. We've been up for a little while since <laughs> 8 a.m. They just woke up about every hour starting at 1 a.m. But we got back to sleep. We unpacked. We love our little apartment. And I think for the first few days we're just gonna do like some vloggy style because there's a lot of new stuff and neither of us have been here. And so we'll just do a little bit of a first impression. So we think the um Mask mandate outside ended yesterday, Monday, but everybody's wearing masks, so we're gonna put our masks on outside. Escalators are a lot more narrow here. But the wheels are getting clean. I hope that. Okay. Yeah. They like to smoke nice and discreetly here in Korea, so that's like a pod where people go and smoke, and then there's like extractor fans taking away the smoke, which is pretty cool. Just had our first sighting of this um, stream. That has a name that I cannot yet pronounce. Give me, give me some time. I'll look into it. It is incredible. I have not been to a public space quite like this, and we've only done a tiny section. It's so nice and so green, and the water's really clear. Uh, and Hayes is loving it. Duck has little tiny baby ducks. Do you see the baby ducks, ducklings? Okay, I still can't pronounce it, but I read a little bit about it. 
basically it was a river here and then after the war people moved into central Seoul and because of that they moved along the river and it became an eyesore filled with trash and sewage and stuff like that. Um, so in 1958 they covered it up with concrete. It was covered for like 20 years or something. Then there was a highway on top of it and then there was a mayor in 2003 who launched the restoration project. It cost 900 million dollars. This stream goes for 6.8 miles um, and they had to uncover a highway and pump all sorts of water in and I think there was a lot of criticism but now it is enjoyed by uh, locals going to work and tourists and I don't know, I'm a big fan. That's a lot of money, but it is a pretty incredible public space. Getting yakults. These actually, I didn't know this, Steph told me they're from Korea. <laughs> He always buys Yakult first thing wherever we are. Also, Hayes threw up in the stroller this morning. Don't know why. It also happened in Mexico City on our very first day. We thought it was altitude. Anyway, that lady is just like zipping down the street in a little electric vehicle full of random potions. Love it. I promised Hayes we'd get him a little tile truck. I expect we're gonna have a tantrum leaving the store. Oh, it's already started. We found some tile, but they were either really big or like wind up and not quite right and too expensive for what they were. We're looking for breakfast and um, not having much luck. <laughs> and then out of this building came like an army of tourist information people dressed in red. We are here. We are here. We go this way. Two blocks. Okay. There's a place called Nangman Pimpap. Okay. They, they have like rice rolls and stew menu and okay, great. soups too. Thank you. Which way, Hayes? I saw on somebody else's YouTube that these like self service bars are really common where you get your own water and soup and kimchi and stuff. So this is our first experience with that. I couldn't find the chopsticks, but they were in this little drawer. Did you get the I'm the drill too. You want to see the drill too? Yeah. I want my chopsticks. You want your chopsticks too? There you go, sir. I've also never really had skin pop somehow. Um, Hayes has already massacred this one, but it's got, we got a fried shrimp in it. It's also got pickled carrots. I don't know what this manda, is. Some manda, kind of mushroom, maybe. Uh, I saw pieces of imitation crab in there. Spinach. Daikon. It's covered in mayonnaise and something that looks like honey mustard as well. I don't know. It's really good. We also got some dumpling soup. We've got different dumplings in here. We've got some kind of like. Is that egg in here? This bit of. It's delicious broth. Leeks. I love leeks. There's huge leeks in here. All right. Mmm, that was a vegetable dumpling. That was delicious. And it's just really nice. I mean, this um, broth that it's in is just not super flavorful, but delicious. It's a little bit of a chilly morning, so it's nice to have something warm. And yeah, really good. Sour. It is sour. Thank you. And this one? That was pretty good. Not bad. Um, and it was 13,000 won, which is I think just over $10 for both of those dishes. We were worried that um, Korea was gonna be really expensive and it's definitely pricier than a lot of the destinations we've been in. Um, but that was pretty reasonable. Great idea. They got these umbrellas while you're waiting for the crosswalk. Super smart, especially when it gets hotter in the summer. It's not too bad right now, but it's nice. We are all extremely jet lagged. We took Hayes home to nap. We think he thinks it was like, like he was supposed to sleep overnight because when we woke him up after three hours, he would not wake up. But anyway, so we're just trying to go to walk. It's like five o'clock or something. We're just trying to make it to dinner time. Um, so we've come back to the, the stream. Have not figured out how to say it between 
the last time we were here. We come but out to the start of it. We're at the very start of it, and there's a bunch of lanterns because it's Buddha's birthday next week, and they had a big festival last weekend. We made it to dinner. We had a little bit of a crisis. Hayes fell out of his chair, caught his tooth or his lip, we can't tell yet, on the corner, fell down, bleeding. Now he's recovering. But anyway, we're at, um, you know what? I don't know. It's a famous place for like knife cut noodles and dumplings. I'll put it here. They've got like three things on the menu, which apparently is very common here that you go to a restaurant for a particular dish and that's kind of all that they do. Anyway, so this one's dumplings and noodles and we're gonna taste it. Excuse the blood on my jumper. Um, just had a bite of this dumpling. It's like a pork and it's got those like chives in it. Really delicious. Just came out nice and hot. A little bit of, what do you reckon this is? Like sesame oil or something? Vinegar. Vinegar. <laughs> delicious. and they took the menu away. It had a description of them, but I don't know. Um, something about them being knife cut with um, bits of pork in here. Like lunch, it's very, very simple. Um, not a lot of strong flavors, but really, really nice ingredients. And pork is really fatty and makes the, the broth tasty. I don't know. It's good. Hayes is doing okay. Awesome. Uh -huh. He says, I love my ice cream. We are so jet lagged. We've been up all hours of the night. I can't remember being this jet lagged in recent memory. Um, we crossed 13 time zones. Hayes did a little bit better last night. We never had to like go into his room, but he definitely like woke up and yelled mommy and daddy a lot. Anyway, sent Pete out to get breakfast sandwiches. I'm on the hunt for breakfast. We passed this place yesterday. It's really close to our apartment. They don't look particularly Korean, but apparently this is a very famous breakfast sandwich chain. They have uh, some really good looking egg sandwiches. They look really good, so we're gonna try them and then we'll wrap up this vlog. I mean, why is so mesmerizing about watching things being cooked on a griddle? I've just been stood here watching this whole thing just been made. It's crazy. Bacon best. Also, if you want um, some scripture, you're in luck. Bit, bit stingy on the bacon, just two little pieces, but here we go. Mmm. It's good. You got that thin layer of like an egg omelette in here what can be best described as American cheese. Um, cabbage, which is a nice touch. Lots of butter on both sides of the bread. Uh, sort of like a mayo-y type sauce. And then the bacon. Very good. Perfect. Breakfast sandwich. So I think that'll conclude our travels to Seoul and our first impressions. Um, this is the first in a series of videos in Seoul and Korea that we have coming. So if you're not already, please subscribe below. Meanwhile, if you want to check out one of our other videos, the one on the screen now is when we traveled to Bangkok back in December. Oh wait, I just got, there's some sweet sauce in here as well. So not only is it yummy breakfast, but it's also sweet. Also discovered some very thinly sliced radishes on top of the cheese layer. So there's a lot going on in here. <laughs>